Hey everybody, look on the screen. Another poor excuse for a human being. I want to give a shout out to Dark and Laundry and also Rena Octagon. Rena Octagon, thank you for sending me this story. We really have to be careful. I mean, whew, this community, the people in it, mainly these dusties, they're sick. You see the title here, man charged with groping girl at Ohio store. It's this thing right here. And look how he's posed for his mug shot. I hope he never gets out, but I'm sure he will. Point. You're not even getting the point of what I'm talking about. You're getting personal because you're traumatized by the anger of black men. And that's exactly, and that is exactly, that's exactly what this piece of trash has done. This on the screen. And he can be out in the community, walking up and down the street near a school. They could have a poster board. And I hate to say it, um, something can still happen because I doubt most of the men walking around would even try and check him. No, no. Look at him. Look at it. Mammy, if you raised this, you raised it all wrong. So fair use a story by John Lynch and Patty Collar. This happened in Boardman, Ohio. An Austintown man is facing charges as the police say he groped an 11-year-old girl inside a Boardman store. According to a police report, officers were called to Marks on Tiffany Boulevard at about 1 p.m. Sunday after the girl's grandfather reported that the suspect later identified as 26-year-old Nora Brundage Grab his granddaughter in the groin area. The reports say that the grandfather and the girl was standing at the customer service counter when Brundage came to the store, called the clerk behind the counter a racial slur, and then groped the girl twice. Mark's employees watched Brundage leave the store and walk into the nearby Red Lobster restaurant. He was arrested a short time later. Police say surveillance, surveillance video from the store recorded the assault. Police noted that as Brundage was being arrested, he asked an officer if he could spit on him, the report states. Brundage is facing a charge of gross sexual imposition. Trash. T -t Total trash. He needs to basically uh, be in... I would give him life. I wish in a utopian society... In the utopian society, we would have had the opportunity to just basically just cut his hands off like Singapore. I keep saying, Dusty's been trauma, they've been drama. God for already told you. So now we have an 11-year-old who's basically traumatized. I mean, an 11-year-old child. And don't forget, do not forget, she's standing there with her grandfather. Look how dis not, not just sick, but disrespectful. They fear of no reprisal. Why? Because black women are not protected. We can be picked up, thrown in the trash, hit in the head with a skateboard. We're not protected. And they'll make a mockery of that. But yet, when they end up being a hashtag, you, black women, unless it's your family, a decent person, victimized, you really need to rethink yourselves. You're out there marching. When they become a hashtag. The same man who are killing us and children every day. You're supposed to get out there and march. I don't care what me, monster. I tell you, one of these mammoths. I will let her have it. Let her know there's only one problem that I see. You birth this thing that's, that's a hashtag. You need to join them. Trust and believe. He could be incarcerated. Let out today. Well, I got to take my child in. Oh, my gosh. That they will support this. You saw it. She's with, the child is with her grandfather, and look what happened. Disrespectful as hell. Disrespectful. And if he's doing this inside of a store, what the heck do you think this animal would do with a child going down the street, turning a corner, and no one else is around? I mean, think about it. If he's doing this inside of a store, cameras everywhere. What do you think he what do you think he's probably has done and gotten away with it? You think the mammy don't know about it? 
somebody, be it friend or family, knows how he operates, and they will uh, keep it a secret. They'll, they'll shelter this trash. And you want to defund the police? Yeah, good luck with that. This community is supposed for the Dusties. They don't know how to, be to even behave. They, they don't know how to live like people. So he has an orange jumpsuit on. They should start making crimes against women. This here, he needs to be in there for life. I don't want to hear about, oh, be, he, being rehabilitated. That's nonsense. It's bullcrap. As you can see lately, a lot of them have been uh, arrested, have, have served time. Oh, they commit another crime. They get bailed. Next thing you know, somebody's dead. And more than likely, it's a female. Ended up dead at the hands of a Dusty. This is, it's, it's horrible. They should make it when they mess with a child automatically. This gives you a life sentence. This right here, it's on tape, so there's no doubt. I've already heard the, and I've heard this from an attorney that I know. Oh, well, kids, you know, they don't, they don't always uh, identify the right person. We got this fool on tape. He needs life in prison, never to see the light of day. And I don't care how crowded it is, COVID or not, stuff him in there. Matter of fact, they could he could become a hashtag and drop him off in the landfill where he belongs. He is sick. And to think that these mammies, they are really, I tell, I'm telling you, they are really sh uh, sheltering these men like this. It's not just thieving. They can kill somebody. I just saw one on TV. He had killed a... Um, uh, one of those shows, he killed a young female. What was a black woman doing working at Walmart and also about to graduate from nursing school? That's what she was doing. And she bought her a television. I think it was on the first 48. Bought herself a television uh, with her income tax money and two trash bags down the street. They killed her. And the mother, she was, yeah, the mother was housing them. You know the fool didn't have uh, any money. He didn't have a job. Where did he get that big screen TV from? And it's out in the neighborhood. What happened? So the mammy standing there quiet. Don't go for this little docile act that they pull. She's nothing but a trash bag carrier because she put this trash here. She put this trash here. The mammies are looking the other way. Let me tell you, ladies, that they really are. They try to come off as real quiet. No, that, that's so much of bull crap. The mammies are just as dangerous because they, they shelter this. They are just as dangerous. I hope it doesn't see the light of day. And I hope all the men in that jail find out what he did. I hope he never sees the light of day. Cut his hands off. I mean, if it were up to me, and this may sound cool, we're the Taliban. I was just take man. We have to go ahead and drop you off in Afghanistan. Let, let them deal with you. It's two lax over here in America. Drop them off over there in Afghanistan. Let, let, I guarantee you, those those they might be all tough over here. Man, get over there. They'll be crying like a baby. They'll be crying. Drop them over there in Afghanistan. Let the Taliban raise them. Let, let, let them let them raise them. And that, that may sound horrible. Well, look what he did to this child. Look, and like I said, what do you think? This is on tape in front of people. What do you think this fool will do one-on-one? -on -one? Someone playing in a yard or something. What do you think he'll do? But I know how people are in the black community. I must say black women are holding it up. Man, if black women left the community, it would, it would be looking like a third world country. It's not far from that now. But you would see massive starvation if we took our checks and just left. Leave the dusties here with the members and see what happened. They would turn on these mammies. These mammies would be on the news. And the last face you'll see would be the one that you coddle. You will realize you've been coddling a killer, a, a murderer. Mm-hmm. An 11-year-old child. And look, he knows they're taking this picture. Look at him. Whoever brought this into the world, you ought to be embarrassed. You should be ostracized. I think it's a good idea to now start ostracizing these mammies. We need to start, if you know that they're certified mammies, start ostracizing them. She having a birthday, who cares? Because some of these mammies, they're housing like this. They're housing this. Mm-hmm.
Well, you can't blame her older hell. We can. Because she's breathing this into the world. She bought this. And she's calling it. And I tell you one thing. When it comes to this behavior, then looking the other way. Looking the other way. So I hope he gets the swiftest punishment possible. Again, drop him off over in Afghanistan, child. Just send him all over there. Here, here you go. Send them all over there. That I wouldn't have a problem with. You wouldn't find me protesting. Send them all over there. And let the passports get lost. Oops. Anyway, thanks for watching. Ladies, we have to really be careful. Which brings me to my jingle. I wish it was lawful for the man to do what I'm thinking, the grandfather. And I, it, it's, it's just horrible all around. Beware of the angry black man. Please have your gun in hand. Beware of the angry black man. Please have your gun in hand. He'll come for you. Don't even notice, fool. Go upside your head. Lay down. Play dead. Beware of the angry black man. Please have your gun in hand. Beware of the angry black man. Please have your loaded gun in hand. Y'all come back now. You hear? Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share, and I'm out. Ladies, please stay safe. Please watch over the babies. At this point, it's not even safe to let your child maybe just run into the store to grab something. Ladies and gentlemen, please stay safe and watch out for the children. Thank you.